as you are all aware, civil discontent is running rampant, and our city is on the verge of economic collapse. Our mayor and city council have repeatedly peddled misinformation in the face of a global pandemic that has done nothing other than generate fear, hostility, and divisiveness amongst our community. And that is why I, Alexander P. Strager, am running for city council in District 2. Our mayor's decision to shut down the economy on account of a virus with a 1.5% death rate and a rapidly declining hospital population was based entirely on, on fear. And at what cost? Our economy is in shambles. Local businesses are shutting down at a record rate. Unemployment is going through the roof. Suicides are up. Murders and violent crime are skyrocketing. And everything that our city council has done has exacerbated the situation. The city of Austin is dying. Our culture is evaporating right before our eyes. And our mayor's decision to shut down the economy is going to decimate small businesses to the point of no return. It's going to destroy live music as we know it. And the city of Austin is going to turn into nothing more than a college town with a Google campus and a bunch of homeless people peeing on the street. Just picture that for a moment. Yeah, I don't want this either. I want to still be able to go to the Continental Club. I want to go to Cheer of Charlie's. I want to go to Mohawk's. I want to go to Wife's. I want to be able to listen to live music in the live music capital of the world. Call me crazy, right? I want to be able to preserve our amazing art and culture here. And the thought of another soulless condo occupying a historic venue, occupying another historic venue, makes me physically sick. But this campaign is a lot more than my desire to listen to music and go to the bar. It's way more than my desire to see the spasmatics every Wednesday. This is about creating an affordable, accessible, and accountable Austin. I'm running for city council in District 2, a predominantly Hispanic area, filled primarily with people who own their own homes. And we need to do whatever it takes to keep our working families in Austin. We need to create an environment to, for them to thrive here because they make up the backbone of our city. Taxes and rent are skyrocketing. Social and racial tensions are on the verge of a breaking point. And none of us would be in this situation if our city council did what they were elected to do, which was represent the needs of the people. If we had done the bare minimum in terms of addressing public safety reform in the wake of the George Floyd protests, we would never have had violent riots occur right after Memorial Day weekend. And who knows, Garrett Foster might still be alive right now. I'm self-employed. I drive a pedicab for a living, and I, along with my friends, are directly affected by Mayor Adler's decision to close bars and restaurants. The majority of our service industry, from our bartenders to our door guys, to our live musicians are no longer able to earn a living and our city has done next to nothing in order to help us. When we make up the lifeblood of Austin, let's face facts. People come here because they, because of our vibrant life, nightlife. They come here because we are the live music capital of the world. They come here because Keep Austin Weird is still a thing. So for the city to offer up nothing in their budget to help our service industry, is the equivalent of giving a gigantic middle finger to the city of Austin and everyone who lives here. 
Our once vibrant city is plagued with hopelessness, divisiveness, anger, and absolute disgust with our local government. In the face of a crisis, both medically and economically, we have a city council that wants to raise property taxes to its highest level in history. Creating an environment, it creates, we're trying to, we're creating an environment that's flooded with homeless people camping on the street. We refuse to clean up after them, be in the camps, and we're closing down parks when vitamin D has been shown to be one of the greatest cures and remedies for the coronavirus. We have a city that wants to overly densify Austin in the face of a global pandemic. When we all know that urban density is the quickest and most effective way to spread a virus on a large scale. I'm running because we as a city need to hold our council and our government responsible for their actions. We need meaningful solutions to address our affordability crisis. We need meaningful solutions to address police reform. And we need to do a much better job of helping local Austinites benefit from our local economy. We need a more affordable, accountable, and accessible Austin. And as your District 2 Council member, I will do my absolute best to bring you that. Because God knows we need that.